Hello everybody, welcome back. And if you are new here, my name is Chris. Today's video was supposed to be about clean and fresh fragrances. A group of fragrances or a fragrance category probably have the most of besides vanillas and gourmands. I love clean and fresh out of the shower, everyday, easy reach fragrances. I've been meaning to do that for about three or four weeks. I just haven't felt really motivated because the weather hasn't been clean and fresh weather quite yet. Well, in the past couple weeks, the weather has gotten warmer. And since I basically have a rotating fragrance wardrobe, I am starting to bring my clean and fresh fragrances out of hiding and slowly incorporating them into my rotation as the weather gets warmer. I've been doing a lot more florals recently. You'd know that if you were on Instagram and I really meant to do clean and fresh today. Guess what? I just didn't really feel like it. The weather is, it's storming. So you might hear some thunder outside the window and I just felt like doing coconut fragrances. One of my favorite notes in perfumes is coconut. I love vanilla. I love coconut. I love fresh notes, but one of my very favorite notes in fragrances is coconut. And that kind of makes sense. It goes along with vanilla, at least in my mind. I cannot wait to wear my coconut fragrances because they smell so good. And it also tells me that the weather is warming up. Listen, I grew up in the South. I grew up near the beach and I was basically on the beach every weekend. I was a lifeguard, swam and played tennis. So warm outdoors just kind of speaks to me. And so I know when I'm wearing coconut fragrances, it is summertime, basically my favorite time of the year. And even though the weather is not cooperating today, I really wanted to do my coconut fragrances. Now I had so many coconut perfumes last year that I had to divide it into a series. I had a part one and a part two, essentially. I have subsequently kind of thinned my coconut herd. I got rid of several coconut fragrances that just their performance was not stellar. And so I'm going to be able to make a single coconut video unless I've totally forgotten about some fragrances that I'll have to pull out of hiding. So I don't know. I didn't count how many coconut fragrances I have. I'm assuming around 15. There might be more. And of course I could not make a coconut perfume video without incorporating body creams or coconut lotions because that's probably my favorite type of lotion to wear. And a lot of these fragrances perform better when they are layered with a yummy, delicious coconut body cream or lotions. So at the end, I'll throw in a little bit of those or maybe I'll incorporate them as I go. I don't know. I'm doing this on the fly. And if I have a little bit of energy at the end of filming this, I'll probably do one clean and fresh video. I have so many clean and fresh or freshy fragrances that I'm definitely going to have to divide it into two. I'm thinking of doing affordable freshies and then that higher end, more niche freshies. And so with that, I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start the list with a fragrance I probably have been wearing the longest. I wanna say this is my second or third bottle and it is a perfume I only wear in the summertime. Summertime would just wouldn't be the same without this perfume and it is by Estee Lauder and it is called Bronze Goddess. And the version I have here is the Eau Fraiche version. That's the only version I actually own. Now this is a softer fragrance and one that I always pair with a body cream because it just, the performance is not stellar, but this just has some really lovely florals, like white flowers in here. I wanna say gardenia, jasmine, there's magnolia in here some aromatics. I want to say there's lavender in here. It starts off mildly citrusy. There's a little bit of citruses in the top. I want to say lemon or orange or maybe both. And then those citrusy notes, the floral notes are kind of tempered in the dry down, which is my very favorite part by a gorgeous sandalwood and amber. So this is just a stunning, iconic, summertime fragrance that I absolutely love to wear. And I always pair it with one of my favorite body creams of all time. It is coconut, the coconut body cream or body butter by the body shop. This thing, this thing smells delicious on its own, but these two together are just magic. The two together, the body butter and the fragrance, they are just magic and really increases the longevity of this. I can get a full day, whereas on its own, I would only be able to get maybe three or four hours. It's a quiet, it's on the quiet side, but I love it, one of my favorites. So moving on to one that reminds me a little bit of the one I just showed, the Bronze Goddess of Fresh is a fragrance that I'm not gonna lie, I bought it because of the bottle. I've made no secret that I love the House of Siage bottles in general. I'm gonna sound like a giant curmudgeon. I'm not a huge fan of Disney. I'm not a huge fan of being somewhere 
waiting for hours and hours to be on a ride where it's hot and you're packed in like sardines with a bunch of people. That's just not my jam. I'm more of a let's sit on the beach type of a person if I go to Florida. If I go to Florida, I wanna be relaxing on a beach, not waiting for a ride for three hours. But I do love the cupcakes from the House of Siage, and I really like this. I'd probably like it better without the ears. <laughs> I just got a bunch of booze, I understand that, but listen, I just have to be me. It is a pretty cupcake, and the fact that it had coconut in it, of course, made me want to buy it. Now, I better, I bought this last year when it was on sale, and I'm very happy that I bought it. Now, the fragrance is not, doesn't blow me away. This doesn't knock my socks off, but together, the fragrance and the cupcake together, I'm glad I bought them, and I do enjoy the cupcakes. It has a slightly similar profile to the one I just showed you, the Estee Lauder Eau Fraiche. This one is a little bit more citrusy. It's a touch more spicy. It's a touch more floral. I do get the coconut in here. It's more like a coconut milk coconut. That might be the type of coconut is in here. I definitely get sandalwood. There's something milky about it. Maybe a little bit of vanilla and definitely um, a very light ambery something something going on. So I think a lot of people might enjoy this because if they like the coconut note, I would call this pleasant. This is a very pleasant fragrance. It's pleasant, it's pretty, and I would only wear it in the heat. But I'm a sucker for coconut and it is a nice addition to the rest of my cupcakes. And I bet I'm going to enjoy it a lot more when I layer it with a really heavy coconut lotion. I just thought of that, so. So the next one is by Comptoir Sud Pacifique, and this house can be kind of hit or miss for me in that I have found a lot of the reformulations just haven't worked out for me. I get a lot of a blast of alcohol in the beginning, and they just some of them just don't smell the same. But this one I've actually really liked, and this is Coco Extreme. So this is very powdery. It's a powdery coconut almond vanillic type of a scent. To me, this smells like you took, you know, the meat of the coconut and almond and you grated it down to a fine powder and then you added a big blast of vanilla to it. So it's a almond coconut vanillic fragrance. It's very sweet and it's so powdery to me that it's bordering on being chalky. So if it was any more powdery, I don't think I would like it, but I do, I do enjoy it. It's also a really good coconut to layer because on me, it just doesn't last forever. I would say maybe four hours on its own, but it's a really good layering coconut. So the next fragrance is a coconut sandalwood fragrance and I love sandalwood. I love basically sandalwood in all its forms except Santal 33. I just am one of those that I don't enjoy that fragrance. It smells like a dill pickle or a dill salad. But all the other sandalwood fragrances I love. This is a super unique one. I learned about this from a sample swap I did with Annalisha last year, and I really loved it. It was something that I really enjoyed, and it's called Radio Bombay by Dias and Durga. Now, to me, this is sandalwood and cedar done to perfection. You definitely get cedar and sandalwood. Boy, I can smell the cedar in this one. Just a gorgeous cedar and sandalwood. And then there's this creaminess from the coconut, which I adore. I actually think that there's a note, a peach note in here. I could be wrong. A little peach note and there's a delicious musk, a botanical musk that I really, really like. So the inspiration for this fragrance is an old transistor radio pumping music out into the streets of Mumbai, which is supposed to be bustling with a bunch of people, you know, hot and sweaty, and you're supposed to get an accord of copper. And I actually think I do get something. There's something metallic in here. It's obviously has something to do with the notes being combined, and maybe it's those notes with peach, but I, I've convinced myself that it does have a little bit of a copperiness to it, but it doesn't smell terrible, and it's not metallic. There's just, it's more like a texture, I would say. It's more like a textural thing. But the stars of this fragrance are definitely cedar, sandalwood, coconut, and musk. With little splash, I'm telling you, I think there's peach in here. This is another one I got out of storage. I haven't worn this since basically, since after I purchased it because it is a very, very, very quiet fragrance. This is not something that can be worn in the cold months because you would not smell it. It would be, I think I tried it one time in the fall and I got like one hour. So this is meant to be worn in the summer. So a gorgeous coconutty 
woody, musky fragrance that I love. One of my very favorite cheapies that had coconut in it was a fragrance by Korloff called Korloff Gold, and I'll show a picture of the bottle. I'm currently in the process of decluttering it. I love the smell of that fragrance. However, I could never get that fragrance to last more than 30 minutes to an hour, and it just broke my heart because it was so, so pretty for the short time that it lasted until my really good friend Giselle told me about a wonderful substitute from Kayali, and I love that brand. I'm telling you, I love basically everything I've tried from them. This was supposed to be a really nice substitute, a better performing substitute for Korloff Gold, and it is Utopia Vanilla Cocoa 21. I want to, yeah, 21. And it is. So this is very similar to the Korloff Gold, which was a floral. So there was some white florals. I want to say there was Ylang Ylang in there vanilla and coconut, so kind of some soft, creamy, white and yellow flowers with a little bit of vanilla and coconut. And that's what I get here. It, it has a little splash of citrus in it, and again, I haven't really been wearing it, so I'm not an expert on the notes quite yet, but it's a little citrusy. And it has my favorite type of musk, which is ambrette, which is a botanical musk. I really do like this. And in the dry down, it gets nice and sweet. It gets sweeter in the dry down. It gets creamier. There's vanilla and sandalwood in here. This has a touch of that fancy suntan sunscreen vibe, but it's not over the top. Now, I enjoy that profile. I have no problem with that profile. To me, it just kind of reminds me of summer but it has a teensy bit in there. So if you are someone that doesn't like that type of a fragrance, you might like this one. It smells so delicious, I can't wait to wear this. This just smells like vacation. This smells like summer and I can't wait to wear it. And yes, the few times that I have worn it, the performance is much, much better than 30 minutes to an hour. I wanna say I got a solid four to six hours, probably closer to the six hours. And as the weather heats up, that's only going to get better. The next one, I'm really excited to talk about it because it is one of my very favorite fragrances on the list today because it is a gourmandy coconut I absolutely love. It's by a line that I adore and I now have four full bottles and I'm sure I will just continue to add to the list. It's by Simone Andrioli and this one is called Leisure in Paradise. Oh my goodness, do I love Oh, how I love this fragrance. This is so delicious and sweet. So this has pineapple in it. There's papaya, there's vanilla, coconut, and then some sort of woodiness in the dry down. This is super sweet and on the thick and heavy side. So if you do not like your gourmands at all, you may not like this because it's sweet and in the heat it might be too much for some people. But this smells like a tropical drink, like a, you took a pina colada, and if you've ever made a pina colada, there's that coconut, it's, all, it's called Coco Lopez, it's cream of coconut, it's, it's like 10 million calories for a little can, but it's one of the main ingredients in a pina colada, but it's like an extra sweet concentrated pina colada, and then you blend in some papaya, so you add in some papaya, and then some woodiness in the dry down, that's basically what you have right here. Oh my goodness, ah, oh, I love it. And by the way, I'm just gonna spray myself because that's what I wanna smell like right now. Let's see if I can breathe. I don't know how people can spray themselves on camera 20 million times and not have a go in their eyeballs or in their mouths. Like, tell me how you do it in the comments below because I'm about to need an Ambu bag here. Anyways, okay, good. The air is cleared, but it smells so dang good. And of course it went right into my eyeball. And so I have a really good smelling eye right now, but delicious. For my diehard gourmand lovers right here. I'll be wearing this a ton this summer. Now for a classic that most people have heard about, this is very far away from a gourmand fragrance. And in fact, I think I would like it so much better if it had more coconut in it, but it is an iconic fragrance and I really embrace it because it is one of those white flower dominant fragrances that I can actually jive with and I enjoy. Another one that just reminds me of summer and that is terracotta by Guerlain. So definitely strong in the white flower department. Oh, this is Gardenia, Tahitian Gardenia. So that's TR, right? And then there's there's a definite Ylang Ylang note in here. It is stunning. So very, very strong in the floral department. And then just a little bit of coconut. I do get coconut, but I wish it was twice as strong, but still the fragrance is just absolutely lovely. This reminds me of somebody at like a luxury resort. They have been outside. I imagine somebody who's really, really tan. They have been baking in the sun with the nicest 
suntan oil and it's been baked on their skin so i imagine this person after they come in from the outside being outside all day and as they walk by they're going to smell like this they're going to smell delicious there's something very warm about this this is a very warm fragrance it's very sunny and it's very vacation-like to me, like a gorgeous European vacation. Interestingly enough, for as strong as it is in the beginning, it doesn't last forever on me. I would say like four hours. So not a powerhouse, it's good to layer. I layer this one with my Body Shop Coconut Body Butter and it is perfect when those are together. So this next one is the only one in my list that is at strong risk of being decluttered. I've had it for about a year and I just never pull for it. I think it's just a little too green for me, but I think this is a perfect fragrance if you like that green type of a coconut, like an unripened coconut. And it's another one by Comptor Sub Pacifique and this is called Coco Fig. When you first smell it, there is a there is a sweet creaminess from the coconut, but you also get a very strong fig. I'm not the biggest lover of fig. I can do fig, I don't hate fig, but it's not one of my favorite notes. So if I do a fragrance with fig in it, it needs to be on the more gentle side. This is more of the fig leaf and the fig stem. It's a very woody type of a fig, and the fig here, I would imagine, is unripened. So you've got like a, a green coconut. It's not super sweet. You have a green fig, an unripened fig with the fig leaves and the fig stems. So you get where I'm going with this. It's, it's woody, it's green, it's not overly sweet. This is in the same grouping as, what is it called? It's called Coco Belly, Coco Bella by Healy. That one did not work out for me at all because I wore that to the gym. I was testing out fragrances. It was a tester, it was a really hot day. And then I wore it to the gym and got super hot and just, ugh, I got nauseous. So I can't wear that one again, but I think it's a beautiful fragrance for people who like that non-sweetened greenish coconut. This one is also pretty quiet on me. It doesn't last more than four hours. So I definitely see a ton of people who would love this. And for that reason, I show it, but it's just not one that I pull for anymore because I have so many others that I enjoy more, but it's still a good one for the right person. So the next one is another Simone Andrioli, and it is called Malibu Party in the Bay. Now, if you like Virgin Island water, you will love this. I have no idea where our Virgin Island water went to. We had a bottle of that. I know I gave one to my spouse several years ago, and it is just poof, it's gone. I don't know what happened to it. And it was really funny. I have four bottles from this line, and I had them lying out on the bed, and my husband picked one up. He picked this up, he sprayed it, and he said, this one's coming with me, this one's going in my closet, you can borrow it from me. He really, really loved it. And I sprayed another one on him, I can't remember, I think it was Pacific Park. But anyways, so my really picky spouse loves this one. So this is another tropical drink kind of a fragrance, but this is more like a Caprihana. This has lime. This is very, very lime forward. I do enjoy lime. I find it super refreshing. This has lime. This has sugar in it. There's rum. Of course, there's coconut or coconut nectar and some sort of woodiness in the base. In my opinion, this is one of the best lime forward fragrances there is. This is delicious. And in the dry down, I get something that smells like ambroxan, that aroma chemical, that aroma molecule that's usually added to fragrances to increase their performance. I do get that. I like that, but a lot of people don't like it. And this one lasts about six to eight hours, which is really good for a citrusy fragrance. So another one I will be wearing when it's really, really hot outside. A super refreshing lime coconut cocktail right here. And I have a body butter and a body lotion that pairs nicely with anything that has a coconut lime in it. This one is by Soap Cherie and it's called Coconut Lime. I love this body butter. If you live in the Northeast, if you live in the Bronx or the New York area, I highly recommend checking out this um, this company, and then a nice affordable one, coconut lime from Bath and Body Works. I do like that combination coconut lime, and I will be pairing one of these with my Malibu. Back from a quick break, and another sandalwood forward fragrance with coconut is Santal Complet. So even though this is, a, like I just said, a sandalwood forward fragrance, it has toasted coconut up at the top that I absolutely get. So there's a little bit of lemon, this is a nice tropical sandalwood because of the lemon in here, a light lemon, a nice, co a nice toasted coconut, sandalwood, and amber. Now, this one is pretty infamous because of its 
terrible longevity or it's terrible performance. It's a gorgeous, it is a gorgeous sandalwood fragrance. It just has terrible longevity. However, the longevity of this is greatly improved if you layer with a body cream or a body lotion. The one that works out for me is another one that was suggested by my friend Giselle and it is the Boom Boom Cream. So when I put the Boom Boom Cream and this one together, they, they are a dream. It is a dream team, it is a dream combination and I can get Santal Complet to last basically a good six hours whereas before on its own it's two to four hours tops. Not super heavy in the coconut department, but definitely I get a lovely toasted coconut in the beginning. The next one is very much a summertime coconut fragrance and it is for all my people out there or my viewers out there that do not like a suntan or sunscreeny type of a fragrance and they really prefer to wear fragrances that are made cleanly. And so the next one is called Arizona Bloom by Floral Street. I love the bottles of these fragrances. I actually went through a little travel spray because this one on me is very, very light. I love it, but it is on the light side. It's one of those fragrances that I might be anosmic to because I have to spray, I personally have to spray like 10 to 12 times for me to smell anything and that's double the amount I normally spray. But this is a lovely fragrance when I don't want to wear anything heavy or overpowering. This is a great fragrance to wear running errands. If I'm going to the gym, this would be a perfect fragrance, a summertime fragrance. If you worked in a hospital or healthcare or even fast food, you could pretty much get away with this fragrance anywhere. It has coconut, there's a saltiness to it. There's coconut salt and musk. It also has a touch of some floral notes. It's a touch floral. It has a very, very light, clean, refreshing, a light ambery sweetness. And I wanna say it has some spices in here, maybe pepper. Let me spray it again. Yeah, it does have a little bit of peppery. Oh God, it got in my eye again. Yeah, a little bit of peppery spiciness. I forgot, I like that about this one. This one is one of the very few fragrances that I would wear when it's 95 to 100 degrees. This is basically heat proof. You could wear this in any temperature because it's not super sweet, it's not overpowering, it's not thick, it's very light. This is very molecular chemistry to me. This is very aroma chemical. This reminds me of a like a, some, a salty summertime version of Molecule 01 and another 13 by Lilaba, which I absolutely love. But this is like the summertime, the lighter summertime version. They're both light, but they both have that little molecular chemistry thing going on, at least to my nose. But I love it. As long as you can tolerate fragrances that are on the light side. In fact, I was surprised I did a video about soft and quiet fragrances. I thought it would get almost no views. And actually there are a lot of people out there that really prefer fragrances that are on the quiet side. So this would definitely be one of them. The next one is another very foodie, very gourmand coconut. And I almost didn't show it because it's from the House of Ganache. And I thought the House of Ganache was basically defunct. And then I got another email about them selling more fragrances. So who knows? And this is called Coconut Flan. And this smells exactly the way it sounds. It's even more decadent. Oh my gosh. A flan is very, it's on the light side. It's a custard-like dessert. This has more, this has more cakiness to it. This is very dense, rich, and thick. So this is like the thickest, most caloric coconut flan you've ever tasted in your life. I could smell this forever. Thick and rich. So the notes are uh, vanilla, caramel, coconut, and almond, I want to say, is in here. That's basically what I smell. 100% foodie, 100% gourmand. I don't know if they're going to bring this back but Ganache does some really great fragrances for those of us who are gourmand lovers, so I really do hope they come back. I think this is my second to last one. I've talked about this before. I know I showed it in my Easter video. This is one of my very favorite coconut fragrances. This is gourmand all the way, very foodie. If you don't like your foodie coconuts, stay far, far away, but I love them and I adore this fragrance. And it is Coco a la Vanilla by Kiss Barfums. I've said it before, to me, this is a very decadent coconut tres leche cake. I'm from the South, Texas more specifically, and you can go to any grocery store in the Houston area at any moment in time, and you can get a delicious, you can get one of the best tres leche cakes you've ever had. And so whenever I go down and visit my parents, I go to the local HEB, by the way, the best grocery store on the planet. I go to HEB and I'll get a tres leche cake for the family, and it's really just for me. But, oh my gosh, it is such a treat. 
So this one smells like you had a tres leche cake and you just infused it with coconut flavor. Absolutely spectacular, super, super thick, super sweet, super rich, one of those that you need to bring your toothbrush for. It's so delicious and yummy, and it's very simple. The notes are coconut, vanilla, whipped cream, and tonka, I believe, and I mean, it's strong, it's long-lasting, and I absolutely adore it, just like I love so many of Keith's fragrances. Second to last coconut fragrance, I forgot I have a little sample that I did want to talk about, but this is a fragrance that I ended up giving my daughter. She is just getting into fragrances. She likes them on the light side. In fact, I have found that Juliet Has a Gun, Not a Perfume is turning out to be her signature fragrance. She used to come in my room all the time and spritz my fragrances. I kind of miss that. She has a little teeny collection on her own. This one she took from me and it's perfect because it's a little bit too light for me but it's perfect for her, and I have tons of coconut fragrances, so I was okay to let this one go, and it's called Le de Coco. Now this smells really, really good, and it's by Urban Outfitters, and it's very inexpensive, so to me this smells like um, somewhere in between a coconut shampoo and a coconut tanning oil, somewhere in there. There's something a touch artificial, but it's not sunscreeny, it's not gourmand, it kind of sits right in the middle, and it's for those who like more of a lighter, more delicate scent, you have to really overspray it. When I used to wear it, it would only last a couple hours, definitely one you would have to overspray or layer with a coconut lotion, but I can assure you there are people out in the audience that this could be their favorite coconut. So the next one, I only have a tiny little sample and it started out as a dabber. Ooh, you know how much I'm a big fan of those. But I got it as a free sample when I ordered something recently from Ariel Shoshana and the sample that I got is called Vacation. The bottle is on its way here because when I sprayed it, I knew that even though I don't love it, I find it a super fun, unique fragrance, and I knew that I wanted to have it in my collection. So this is a fragrance that is made by the company called Vacation Inc., I believe, and it is in collaboration with one of my favorite houses, the House of Arquiste. And so they collaborated to come together with a fragrance that is supposed to be an homage to the 80s, to nostalgic suntan or sun care products, and as a child of the 80s, I was all over it. When I look back on my life and I was a child in the 80s, I really could not have had a happier childhood. It was so fun for me. I grew up in Houston. The weather was always warm. In the summer, I was always at the pool or the beach, and you could do something outdoors basically 10 to 11 months out of the year. I loved the music of the 80s. I learned how to roller skate in the 80s. And by the way, if you didn't know, roller skating is very big again. If you don't believe me, check Instagram. But anyway, there's are such good memories associated with the 80s for me. That's why when the show Stranger Things came out and I watched it with my kids. Yes, I let my kids watch that. It was scary, but we just were addicted to that show. I loved that show because I could, I was a, that, I was a kid of that age back then. You know, Ghostbusters and my brother, one of my brothers played Dungeons and Dragons. So fun and so nostalgic. So when this came out, it was all over it, even though I just sprayed it on my little dabber. When I smelled it, it some of you will absolutely hate it because if you don't get the whole nostalgia behind it, you will find it terrible because there is something very artificial about this fragrance, but it is supposed to, I mean, it smells like the suntan lotion, it smells like Hawaiian Tropic. That suntan oil, that sunscreen, really didn't have a ton of sunscreen. The suntan oil that you would smell back then, it was had coconut, like an artificial coconut and pineapple type of a smell. There is something kind of plasticky and metallic in here. I actually think there's notes of plastic in here, like plastic pool toys. There's a note, I think there's salt in here, salt water, and there's a note of Lycra swimsuit, which I haven't worn this a ton, and you get that in the dry down, and as I'm sampling, I usually might have two things on myself. So this is more like a, a third impression, but I just thought it was fun, and if you are like me and a child of the 80s and really loved that nostalgic time, it literally brings me back to time when I was a kid. When I smell this, I think of wearing a very ugly swimsuit on the beach of Galveston because that was basically the only time I ever wore sunscreen or suntan lotion if I did at all. There's almost something sandy in here, but yeah, 
just fun during the summer as a kid and I love the nostalgia of it all. And I'll be talking about it more when I get the full bottle and I wear it more. So that was it. I have no idea how many fragrances I talked about. And as I'm talking right now, I realized I forgot one and I'll just add it on my next video. It's actually a nice affordable coconut fragrance that I just got. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoy the note of coconut as much as I do. And if you have any coconut fragrances that I didn't talk about, you better believe I want to hear about it in the comment section because I'm a big fan. And even though I have plenty of coconut fragrances, I'm always open for more. But anyways, thank you again for sticking around. Thank you for watching. Thanks for all your support and I will see you on the next one. Coconut body cream or body butter by the bot, by the, ugh. just magic. And whereas, I'm gonna start the list with, am I on, am I filming? Yes. Maybe they will come back to life again, but this is one of my favorite <laughs> coconut fragrances. And it is by the House of Ganache, like just said. That... Fanny, you're not coming in. And I need to get myself a pair of skates because at one time I could, I could do some skating. I could, I could shoot the duck. Shoot the duck. Shoot the duck. Shoot the duck.